they're already thinking of a potential business plan around Manchester United on many uh, sites, I'm told not just of course on the technical side and so about the signings, the budget. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel with Fabrizio Romano as always to keep you posted on the transfer market and today guys we touch on Manchester United, something to clarify on the transfer market we know are also, also crucial hours for the club on the owner's side, on the Glazer side, with Qatari, with uh, Sir Jim Ratcliffe, and more to try to buy Manchester United. So let's jump into it together. And so guys, crucial hours for Manchester United. We know it's important to understand how it will proceed the process to uh, sell the club with the Glazers working to sell the whole package of Manchester United as a priority. So this is the idea for six, seven billion pounds. This is the value uh, they already gave in December, November for a Manchester United whole package. So let's see how the conversations will continue. But as we already stated a few weeks ago, it's through Qatari want Manchester United. They want to try, they want to bid, so the intention is very clear and we can confirm that they are in this process, the conversations are taking place, they're already thinking of a potential business plan around Manchester United on many uh, sites, I'm told not just of course on the technical side and so about the signings, the budget and all these kind of things, it is really important to make the fans dream, but also about uh, the marketing, the stadium, so there are many points that they are already thinking about Manchester United, they're already in this kind of process, but but of course, the negotiation is needed, the bid is needed, the bid will be there. Qatari people uh, are already thinking of Manchester United potential ideas for the future. And so they want May United, but as always stated here, is three, four groups interested in Manchester United. We have to include Ineos with uh, Sir Jim Ratcliffe, who wants Manchester United. Uh, he's gone public with his interest, and so let's wait for his bid too. Uh, and we know there is also more interest. So three, four groups, but for sure it's true that Qatari are thinking of this possibility. And as we already stated, it's not, of course, the same ownership of Paris Saint-Germain, but would be a different group. So the conversations are ongoing. Let's wait for the next steps. We know how important it is to wait uh, for the right moment and also for the official documents in this kind of negotiations. It's a very important historical, potentially, negotiation for Manchester United. And so the Glazers family and all the people hired to take care of this are now in the process. So let's follow it step by step. I also wanted to clarify something because I always receive many questions from Manchester United fans and Tottenham fans on Harry Kane, what's going on? We had rumors in January, probably you remember, about Man United already uh, working on a Harry Kane deal. What they can say is that Man United never had any kind of direct contact with people close to Harry Kane, with his family, his brother, they are taking care of uh, the players' future. So Man United are not in conversations at this stage with uh, Harry Kane and, of course, with Tottenham. So Man United are absolutely not in a process to sign Harry Kane and the feeling of people into Tottenham is that they will do their best to keep Harry Kane at the club, to negotiate on a new contract contract very soon to discuss with Kane and keep Kane at the club. So this is the intention of Tottenham and at the moment they are not even thinking of a possibility of selling one of the best historical players of Tottenham to Manchester United. So this is the situation really quiet around Harry Kane. Of course he could be appreciated by Manchester United but at the moment uh, they are not in any process to sign Harry Kane and the striker search is absolutely at early stages. Nothing is advanced with any striker, Ozyman, Kane or any other. They appreciate strikers but nothing is advanced. Also, as always, many questions on Frankie de Jong, but what we can say is that also because Sergio Busquets' future is not clear, Barcelona, Xavi, but also the world board, they are convinced of Frankie de Jong as an important player for a Barcelona future. So at the moment, Barca want to keep Frankie de Jong at the club and Frankie is very happy at Barcelona. So the situation remains exactly the same of last summer. Of course, Man United would love to land Frankie de Jong. We know that Eric Ten Hag is a big fan, but at the moment, uh, really, the situation is super quiet. Also because it's Frankie who has to decide what he wants to do, but on Barcelona side. Last summer they were open to sell, now is completely different feeling and Frank is considered a really important player for them. So I am not here to sell dreams on these two players, but for sure for Manchester United it's important to understand what happens on the owner side, to understand the budget and the plans for the summer. And so guys, let me know your thoughts on this Manchester United situation and wait for your comments guys as always here. Remember to like this video, turn on the notification bell, subscribe to the channel. See you soon with Fabrizio. Ciao!